Hello everyone, it's Julian back with another tech video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Home Assistant on to your QNAP. Alright, so first up what you're going to want to do is make sure you've logged into your QNAP interface, make sure you are on the latest firmware and OS versions, and then you're going to want to make sure you've installed Container Station if you haven't already. Head on over to the App Center, check out under Utilities, and install the Container Station. Once that's installed, open it up, and you should be greeted to an interface like so. Alright, we are going to head over to Create. We're going to search up Home Assistant. And we're going to go on over to the Docker Hub, and we're going to look for this one right here. We're going to hit on Install. And we're going to select the image version as stable, which is all the way at the bottom. If you want to pick a different version, go ahead, but I suggest the stable version. I'm going to hit on next and it's going to want to fill out with the name Home Assistant 1. This all looks great, but we're going to want to hit on advanced settings here. We're going to go to network. We're going to change the network mode to host. This way it will still use your same IP, but it will use its own port number, I should say which I believe is 8,123. But now we're also gonna head over to shared folders and make sure that we can also save our config. That way, if we wanna upgrade this later on or change it or move it later on to a different computer, you have all the configuration files there. So we're gonna hit on add. We're gonna check, pick on a host path. You can click on any of your folders already in your shared folders. I created a container. I'm going to click on Home Assistant Demo, and I'm going to create a mounting point of config. Excellent. Then we're going to hit on Create. Make sure all of this is great. We're good. It's now going to download and set up the container for us. Now it's creating. And we're done. So if we head on over to images, we should see that it downloaded correctly and the container should be running. So now if we go on over to HTTP, whatever you set your own QNAP IP address to, import one. And there you go. We're gonna be greeted with this setup screen. And we're gonna just create our account. It's gonna ask us where we are. Obviously, you can try and set the country, Canada, or wherever you are. I'm gonna set the English. I'm going to try to set the Toronto time zone to Eastern Standard. I'm definitely a metric. I'm going to just move this all the way into Canada. Toronto. There you go. Then I'm going to hit next. Oh, I see the language is not English. I have to be from this language. There we go. Now I can hit next. Now, it will ask you if you want to share any of this information with them. Up to you. It has already detected some of my devices. And I'm gonna hit finish. If you do have devices on your same network, it will automatically detect them and allow you to control them within Home Assistant directly. And that's about it. I, this is just a basic tutorial on how to set up Home Assistant on your QNAP. If you guys wanna see more detailed videos on how to use Home Assistant, set up different automations, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys all for watching and checking out my video. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. You know, this QNAP Home, Home Assistant stuff is kind of really cool. I really do like how we can add it onto QNAP. It seems so seamless and easy to go. I mean, the reason why I created this tutorial was I didn't have anything to go off of and I kind of struggled. So I hope this video you guys found helpful and useful. And if you didn't, I'm sorry, let me know how I can do better.